Oh, well, it's heavy. The sheriff's in town. Oh, it's heavy. It's heavy. Oh, <laughs> Look so at the size of that thing. yellow belly, is it? <laughs> oh, my God. Look at the size of him. Today we're going to go for a bit of explore through the um, forest and check out a few different dams. I'm sort of starting the video backwards. As you can see, I've already got the pot on the boil. I don't know whether you can guess what's in the pot or not, but it may or may not have come out of the little water hole here, which it actually didn't come out of this water hole. Um, you can tell the pot's on because you've got the seagulls here waiting in the shade. So what we'll do, we've got them on cooking. We're going to head back to this morning to where it all started. It's bright and early. The sun's just starting to poke through the trees here. I've come out to this dam and it looks bloody good. What we're going to do today, I'm going to throw two traps into this dam. There's quite a few through here that I want to test out. Uh, we're not going to get to them all in this video, I don't think, because there's probably about 10 dams. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'll give you a quick look at this. What we've got for bait today, I've run out of liver, I've been to the butcher and all they've had is brisket bones. So I've tied a big brisket bone in each trap. And what I'm hoping is we can find a hot spot or a hot dam. I know these dams look so good, but I have been through this area in the past and although the dams look bloody good, I haven't really done any good in them. Uh, what I've found is they're full of those little black beetles. And as we know, if they're full of them little black beetles, you generally don't get a lot of yabbies. And we will spread them out a little bit. I've come over to the other side of the dam. This bank here looks like there's a fair slope on it. But I reckon we'll go out probably four metres or so. And if anything, it's definitely deep enough. That's probably a good two metres deep there. We'll keep moving. I don't know how long we're going to end up leaving those traps for. Because we're going to go down, find this other dam. And then probably go back to town and pick the girls up, I think. We've finally reached our destination of dam number two for the day. I don't know how many more we're going to get to, just depends on how these go, I guess. But this dam looks like it's probably pretty bloody deep. I'll give you a look at something. Don't know how well it's going to show on camera, but the dam walls around this dam are built up pretty bloody high, which generally means it's been dug out fairly deep. I'm going to put three traps in this dam and the same deal. I've just got a dirty big brisket bone zippy tied into the middle of the trap. And there has been someone here. I can see a big boot print, but it doesn't look like they've had traps set. Um, you do get a lot of pig hunters and goat hunters through this particular area. We'll get the first one out. I think we'll put one out here and the last trap can go out on this complete opposite side so these traps are spread evenly around the dam and just looking at those traps that's nowhere near as deep as what I thought it would be it, it must uh, really deepen out in the middle there because that's only about a meter deep there so I guess we're going to leave those traps for a while, let them have a good soak. Might head back to town, pick the girls up, see what we can do for the day. I've actually decided to hang around. I've given it 15 minutes and I'm going to have an impatient check of one of the traps. And I was just having a little walk around this dam. And one thing I have noticed, I'm going to give you a look. 
I don't know if anyone's going to notice. We'll just have a quick sweep of the area. Have a quick look around here. Have you noticed yet? No. Nah. Haven't noticed. One thing I've noticed that I haven't noticed, there's no rubbish laying around. The place has absolutely been um, kept tip-top shape. No trash, no litter. There's no tyres or anything. So, if you come out to these places, make sure you always clean up after yourself. Nothing worse than getting to a place and there's bottles laying around, your old Macca's wrappers and um, empty beer bottles. If you come into these places, make sure you leave it as you left it. I think what we're going to do is just have a little impatient check of this first trap. I'm not really expecting much. Absolutely nothing. Which is probably what I was expecting. I was sort of expecting that. It's literally only been probably 10 minutes. We'll give them a couple of hours and we'll come back. We've come back. We're at the furthest dam out first this time. We're working backwards. And I've brung the seagulls with me. Cross your fingers. Pull it up. Oh, it's heavy. And oh, you got a few in there. No, you beat it out. Oh, you got heaps of little ones. I think we might even keep those little fellas. Great. Yeah, I just tied the bait in there. Ah. They look different. Nothing of any size. But I think we'll keep these little fellas. Um, if nothing else, we could probably go for a fish. And CJ is going to be spewing, a fella I work with. We sort of come past this dam and we set a trap in another dam to try and get him some bait. And all we got were a couple of big ones. He would have done really well here. So if you're watching CJ, you know where to set it next time. End up getting... We end up getting 10 little fellas out of that. Remember to lift up as you're going. This one's pretty shallow. Well, a little bit deeper there than what it looked. Bug. And what do you got there? Bug. A heap of little bugs and only one yabby on this side. Only bugs. one. Has he got you? The sheriff's in town. Oh, it's heavy. It's heavy? Bugs. Full of bugs. Oh no, you got a few in there. Oh, probably another that's 10 or so. That's not too bad. One there that's borderline decent. So yeah, and another 10 little fellas. Why are they light colored? They're not too bad. Oh, it's because of the sandy soil. Uh, and isn't it? They're clean. You'll find this really sandy sort of soil and reasonably clean water, they'll be a really light color. Them big dark ones that we get are generally out around the black soil. Oh, yeah. About 20 yabbies out of that first pool, which is pretty good, but they're all only small. I think we want something a little bit bigger than that. Um, I guess we've got some bait or a snack. We're going to see how the day plays out. We've made it to our other two traps, which is actually the first dam where I come this morning. We've got the boss climbing down here. The banks here are not the easiest to navigate. Uh, this dam, it seem, does seem a lot deeper than that last one, so hopefully that means bigger yabbies. Rightio, pull him in. That trap's gone pretty well straight down. That's it, just bugs. What do you got? A bug. Bugs. Oh, well, bring it up. I sort of thought that this morning. I could see the little black beetles in here. And I didn't think we would do much good at all. Uh, and nothing. What's that? Leaves. So that's a little bit disappointing. I thought we'd at least get something here. It looks so good. Like I said, dams up through this area, they look so good, but um, never seem to do any good out of them. Anyway, I think we'll head out. There's another dam, and it is bloody remote. It is literally out in the middle of the sticks. So I reckon we'll head out there and have a go. We're getting way out into the sticks now. Check this little track out. And you can see where the bushfire's been. I don't know whether you um, heard about the bushfire through the Pilliger area. 
uh, burn out 130,000 hectares, which is a pretty big fire. But they've been through this little track and cleared it off after the fire. Because I know this little track here, it is an escape route for um, properties that are down here. And I'm just not too sure which way to go. We're sort of way out in the middle of nowhere now. We finally made it to destination number three. Um, may have got lost here and there, taken a little side track, or may not have. This is the dam that I've had a bit of a hot tip. Um, one of my mates come here about two years ago and he reckoned it was loaded. Um, but there were dams two years ago that we were getting heaps and not getting any this year. So I'll give you a look at the place. And I know the others did look good as well, but this one does look good. Um, just looking along the edges, the worst thing you can see is all these little things coming to the surface, which generally are them little black beetles. If there's a lot of them here, it's not a good sign. I can see the stuff out in the middle out here. I'm not too sure what's going on there. More over here, which probably isn't a bad thing. So we're just going to go old school. I've just got him a bit of string with a meat tied to it and Josie's already managed to tie it into a knot. <laughs> go down there, get yours in, Jose. I'll make them one each. All I've done, cut a little bit of meat off the brisket, bit of string, told them to go and get a stick each. Not to hit me with. I'll get them a line each and then I'll make myself one. I've decided I've just made them three a line each because I know what will happen if they are biting. I'll be running backwards and forwards. Uh, we'll give it half hour. If we don't get anything in half hour, there's one more spot to check. <laughs> it's funny these dams through here because they hold water pretty well. Um, just very rarely um, find one that's full of big yabbies for some reason. There's got to be one of them in here that's full of big yabbies. There's just got to be. And the bushfire's been through here. The bushes bounced back really well. Um, it was fairly burnt. As you can see, this tree here is basically right near the dam. And you do get a few hunters and tourists and stuff camping here. Uh, what they've done, they've cut this tree down. Um, I'll see if you can see. Quite often you'll go through the bush after a bushfire and you'll see a mark like that on the tree. It means that it's unsafe. Um, as you can see it was hollow and it's burnt through. So it'd be only a matter of time before the tree falls down. So instead of waiting for it to fall down, they cut them down. And obviously they're not going to go through the whole forest doing that. Only where there's likely to be people. Oh, Josie's got one straight up. She didn't even realise there was one on there and he's alright too. Oh yeah beauty. And oh! I, and I, <laughs> and I'll go and get the esky. Yeah, she's got him without a net. He's not real big but we'll keep him. And it hasn't taken him too long. Eyelids onto one. What's he feel very big? I don't know, like it, it let go. There. Oh yeah, bring him up. I don't think it's huge. If we can get a heap of those medium sized ones. Is it a fish? I think it's underneath. Fish. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm pretty sure it was a yabby. When you feel them pull back like that, just let it go. Yeah, I'm gonna chuck that in here. Josie said there's heaps of guppies. Yeah. Where? Oh yeah, heaps of little tiny baby fish. Coffee. You got one on there or what, Annika? It was just pulling, did you pull it in and check it? You lose him. Hey? <laughs> what are you going to do there, Annie? You going to spear him? Oh, look out. You can see the concentration of Nile, and she wants to get it. 
Oh, you got a bug. I got a bug. Oh, no. Oh, More bug. Oh, you got two. <laughs> Lost them both. They're here. They're here. Come on. Uh, two. They're not real big, but they're nice, clean little fellas. Oh, quick, get him up the bank. <laughs> I nearly lost him myself. <laughs> and you talk about me stopping near the pool. Look at what's right behind Josie. Where? Josie, you were just squatting down there. What'd you do? Hey? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Poaching Annika's line for her? Yeah. Oh, yeah, got one too. Or did you get a couple? One and a bug. Oh, yeah, that's all right. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah, look, yours. Yours is moving. They're definitely not huge, big blueies, but they're sort of a weird looking little yabby, these ones. Little bush yabbies. These are all poaching each other's lines. Josie, your line's pulling like anything now. I'm pretty sure Annika's is going off as well. I was preoccupied, but Eileen's got another one. And we're getting a few in there now. If we can get 50 or so of those, we'll have a little feed. All about the same size. So you got one? Okay. I'll be the scooper. Yep. You got buddy three of them on the line. Yeah. Mine's on. You got another couple. Well, yeah. oh, the boss is going off. Slowly getting the feed. Put them straight in the bucket. Straight in the bucket. Dad, do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Yeah, another two about the same. Nothing really of any size there just yet. Yeah. And I don't know whether you notice about this dam as well. Can you notice anything here? Notice? There's no rubbish laying around. Notice? Like I said before, if you come out to these places, take your rubbish with you. These three over here are fairly well rapidly filling that bucket up with a nice little feed of prawn sized yabbies. I've just come for a walk around the dam to have a look. Look at the colour of the rock that's come out of the bottom of this dam that they've dug out. It's like a really red sandstone. You don't see that very often. There must be plenty of emus around here. There's another emu poo. <laughs> now, I just wanted to come around. There's heaps of tracks here to um, see what's been coming here. But it looks like all emus and kangaroos. A few goat tracks, fox tracks. Does it? And I really just wanted to see what these. Uh, things popping out of the water are they're big rocks I nearly reckon if we put a trap or two out around these rocks we'd probably get some big fellas looks like there's a log out in the middle and it's a bit strange to get all these little yabbies and they haven't got one big one yet biggest one's probably about that big although it doesn't look like it at the moment uh, because it's bounced back a little bit since the bushfire but it's opened it up a lot. Um, if you had to come here before the fire, you wouldn't have been able to see through there. Look at that. It's a nice feather. Be good if you want to make a cod fly. I might even take that. We might make a fly out of it and see if we can't catch a cod one day. So this place is absolutely loaded with little fellas. If there were some big ones here, I'd probably set the traps, um, go down to the next dam, have a go, come back and check the traps. But Hold it, I don't think we will do that. Um, I think we'll leave this dam, maybe come back next year. So what we'll do, we'll stop here, um, catch another 20 or 30. Uh, they're just big enough to eat. So we'll at least get a snack and we'll go down to the next dam it. and it's nearly lunch time, cook up some lunch. Where are we going? Well, we've had to make a little backtrack um, back to the dam we were just at because someone forgot to pick the esky up with all the yabbies in it, didn't they? <laughs> they ain't got halfway through the scrub. <laughs> and I don't even know what made me think of it. But 
I said, I better check in the back there because I can't remember putting that esky in the back. <laughs> we all jumped in the car and took off, left all the Abbey sitting beside the dam. Look. Where? Over there. I can't see it. I would have, lucky I thought of her only a few k's down the road. <laughs> We've just had to make a pit stop. Um, we're just heading through the scrub and I've spotted something. And this is actually the second one I've found since the fires come through. Now uh, the fires have really opened it up. I'm gonna give you a look right now. A lot of people probably wouldn't be too interested in it, but some of these bottles are actually worth a lot of money and the fires cracked that one and that would have been a good one see the old um, cordial label on it and it's fluid ounces but i knew that was going to happen 32 fluid ounce cordial bottle we've got old tobacco tins uh, it's a real shame i uh, didn't see this before the fires because old talcum powder tin been there for a day or two there's an old milk bottle that old milk bottle's still all right I, I will leave this one i don't like um, taking anything from these old dumps because they're a bit of history really look at that old tin old sardine tin another one there i don't know what that is There's another old cordial bottle there. Moore's Cordials St. George. So that bottle's come all the way from St. George. Uh, I don't know whether it'd be St. George, Queensland or Sydney. And there's nothing really of too much interest in that little dump. And I don't like uh, pilfering them too much. If there was a really good bottle there, it would be coming home with me, but... Um, I'd nearly guarantee that was an old log cutters camp from way back, probably, I don't know when them bottles were, probably uh, 50s I'm guessing, 50s, 60s. But the bushfires were on that one, so uh, there could be the odd one buried there. I'm not gonna muck around today. We'll keep moving. We'll try that again. I just done that whole thing and realized I wasn't filming. He was in the middle of the road the and was scared him off a little bit, but he's really quiet. And, we were um, hooking down to the next dam, fairly well flat out on the road, and he was right in the middle of the road and he didn't move. So, and I've been out for the last two minutes um, filming him. I'll give you a look. I'm definitely filming this time. He let us get real close to him. Yeah. It's almost like he's curious to what we are. Yeah. Leave a comment below if you know what that is. And you've got to be a little bit careful because they are inquisitive and they do have a habit of running up your leg. <laughs> there you go. Absolutely beautiful little specimen. We've made it to our final destination and this one is a fair bit of a bust. As you can see, we've got the barbie on. Uh, we've got some yabbies peeled, already cooked, ready to go. I'll give you a bit of a look at this place. The girls have had two lines down here and they're telling me they're not getting anything but I can see straight away that that one there's got a yabby on it. Um, the dam itself looks a bit murky. Um, Nelly looks like someone's been having a scoop or something here. That's a telltale sign. You can see the mud's been dragged up. Someone's had a scoop in here. Scooping yabbies. And they've told me they've had this line in here while I've been mucking around cooking. That must have been a fish because there was definitely something just biting on that one. See? But the dam itself, it's just got the wrong colour to it. As you can see, the water is pretty well putrid looking. Uh, it's got a really dirty, thick scum on top. It's complete opposite to the last three dams we went to. And the water itself is actually clear. Um, if there was a lot of yabbies in here, the water would be that milky colour. And what I've got on here for a start is just some rissoles with cheese. So cheese rissoles. Oh, look at that. That's nearly perfect. 
And what I'm going to do with one of them, just for a test, just for something, I'll do it with mine. I'm going to take a few of our yabbies, my share, <laughs> which isn't much. Um, as you've seen, they're not huge yabbies. But we did get quite a few. Um, definitely enough there to have a feed. What I'm going to do... Just push my yabbies into the one side of the wrist hole, like so. Make sure it's sort of half pushed into the meat, just like that, like a little pizza. And I'll leave those wrist holes, once they're 90% done, then I'll throw the yabbies on and finish searing them up. As you've seen, I just partially boiled them. Uh, they were all just little fellas, but um, surprising the amount of meat you get out of those little fellas. I cooked 30, I think, and I kept 10 of the smallest ones for bait. I'll give you a little bit of a look where I am. There will be a few locals that know this spot, and I guess it's probably not going to be too hard to find now that I've showed you the exact name of it. And I probably wouldn't waste my time um, coming yabby in here because we haven't got a single yabby here. And the dam just looks the wrong colour. It's murky, disgusting, um, and there's no yabbies here. But as you can see, it's an interesting old place. Um, it definitely hasn't been looked after. This is the old table and chairs, and it's been pretty well eaten out by termites by the look of it. Um, she definitely hasn't been um, kept up with the maintenance. There is a little barbecue here. Um, not too bad through winter, I guess, if you wanted to come for a camp. And there is an old structure over here. Uh, looks like someone's tried to build a hut or something over in the forest. We'll go over and have a look at it. Yeah, so someone spent a bit of time here uh, I'm not too sure. I guess people riding bikes and that may have been coming camping here at some stage. Uh, I probably wouldn't be camping under it anymore. As you can see, she's only just holding in there. And it's not going to be too long before that comes down. It's just all eaten out by rot termites the old rafters have got a bit of a sag to them uh, Eileen's got some cucumbers here that she grew uh, they're not too bad what do you got there Eileen what's that one <laughs> she said that's my cucumber I'm not too sure what she meant by that yes, <laughs> So here's our lunch slash snack for the day. Uh, we end up with a few little yabbies each, a fair portion of cucumber, and a cheese rissole. And this is my little rissole, it's got all the yabbies through it. Ooh, still a little bit hot. As you can see, yabby encrusted rissole. Mm. Why don't we do oh, that now? is delicious. Mm. Come on, you pair. You're going to try a little yabby? Tell us what you think. They're actually, I don't mind the little ones, they're a bit sweeter. Yeah, they're yum. The big ones can get a bit tough and rubbery. These ones here, absolutely beautiful. Um, cooked in the juice of the rissole with a little bit of seasoning. So we're actually having a bit of bush tucker, Eileen said, because we're eating in the bush. <laughs> <laughs> we should have caught that goanna and threw him on the fire. No, they're in danger. <laughs> Hope you had a good time. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.